Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Behind me is where the uh, buck pen is going to be, as, or as we're calling it, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> so we got our fencing there. We're going to put up our fencing today. Remember, we're going to use trees as our corner posts. On the other pen, we sunk posts and cemented them. This one, we're just going to use trees. They're already there. Time to get back to our uh, reuse, repurpose, recycle mentality here on the homestead. So we're going to show you how we're going to do it. The fencing we have is this roll of 330 feet long by four foot high woven sheep and goat fencing. It's what's on the old pen. It's what will be on the new pen too. What we've done is we've pulled the fencing through the woods for a full side of it. And now we're going to go down the other end and we're going to attach it. All right, having issues with my camera. But what we did was we came to this oak, we wrapped the fence around it, and then we used fencing staples and nailed it to that tree. So next, we're going to go down to the other end and we're going to stretch the fence and connect it. And we're going to nail it to trees as we go. So we'll show you that now. All right, so we're walking down to the other end. Do, 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 do. So. Oh, I got my helper Keith with me today. You remember, you may remember Keith from such videos as, let's tear apart a camper. Chicken freezer camp. And chicken freezer camp, that's right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut that fencing right there. Right up there, we're going to cut it. Then we're going to attach it to our uh, handy dandy fence stretcher, my homemade fence stretcher. And then we're going to pull it. It's filming. Okay. All right, folks, here's my handy dandy fence stretcher. It is simply a couple pieces of two by six with some bolts through it. All we're going to do, we're going to come over to the fence. We're going to lay that 2x6 down there. We're going to put the fence over it like that. We're going to take the other 2x6 and lay it down over it. i got to remember which way I had it now. Looks like this way. Or not. I guess this way. Hey, that's better. All right, so we get those through. You put your nut on there. Best you can. Now you... Right, I dropped one of the nuts down there somewhere. There it is. I found it. Can you believe that? That's okay. Let's see if two is enough, huh? Tighten it up with the fence in the middle there. Between the two boards. 
and then we can pull on the board to stretch the whole fence tight. So now we're going to stand it up where it goes. We're going to take these ratchet straps. I may have to move the tractor closer. Yeah, I'm going to have to move the tractor closer. I'll take my ratchet strap and I'm going to hook that to the tractor. Actually, I can just hook that right there, can I? Okay, there's one. Now, the only thing is I want to be farther that way, and I'll show you in a second why and what I mean. There. Now this is going to stretch this fence tight, but right now I'm too far that way, so I'm going to back up into here a little bit. So now we're taking our straps and we're pulling the fence tight with our ratchet straps. Now as we do this, we're going to have to go along and adjust the fence as we go. Alright, let's do a little more stretching. Then we'll adjust it some more, and stretch some more, and adjust some more, and stretch some more, until it's in. There, what do you think? Alright, so we're going to keep stretching and adjusting and then we'll show you afterwards what it looks like. So right about here? Yep, we're going here, right? Yep, yep. so this looks good, right? Not up against the knot, so it's no. Okay. Either way, you're going to have a sharp nub. Yep. I don't know if there was a reason to tie in later or something. Are your 
Oh, okay. That could be part of the problem. I thought it was at 50. All right, so we got the back fence in. These guys are over here doing key posts every 10 feet for the fencing that is in. We're gonna stretch this one now. And uh, you've seen us do that, but hey, maybe you'll see us do it again. That whole street is not on that one. Huh? You have no street on that one, so. You get a tight post. I don't want to dig right here. How's that looking, Miller? Did you go any lower? Sorry, Jim, but this is the view you're going to get. <laughs> Not if I move. We're all done. He's just nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Should be perfect. There we go. Grab some posts now. Wow, that looks awful. <laughs> is it one of them hard trees? Yeah, this is the kind I have right here. Yes. Pop Cut that. These cutters. So pushing the clutch, turn the key. Other way, other way. Keep going. <laughs> Push the clutch in more. Emily, take that phone up. Move that there.
it is. The whole thing is fenced in. All the T-posts are up. Now we just have to do the clips on the T-posts. But that's quite the pen. And we got to build a gate. This is my crew that helped me today. Yay! I think you've seen them all before at some point. So, folks, that's going to be it today from the mountain. It's a heck of a day. I'm kind of sweaty. Oh, well, it happens. Good thing you don't have smell-o-vision. So, that's going to do it for today. You know what to do with the videos. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, folks, God bless.